Satin stitches are great stitches for filling in a shape or a motif. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do that. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth, and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pujagi, and embroidery. So you might have seen some of my other videos where I take a simple motif and I stitch it with different embroidery stitches to see how it looks. Well, I'm not gonna be using this motif with satin stitch. And the reason why is because of the size. Some of these pieces are quite large and that would be a stitch that is a couple of inches or longer. And long, long satin stitches are not great because in the finished product, it's so easy for them to get pulled. They can easily get tangled or cut. And it also pulls in and adds a lot of strain onto the fabric. So I'm gonna be stitching this little motif, which is also a flower, but it gives satin stitch in an easier size to work with. So come on and watch me as we stitch this motif with satin stitch. So here's a little motif and we're gonna begin by stitching these petals that are on the front, the most forward facing petals. And to help with that, I'm just gonna draw a line on the petals and this will help give the direction that I wanna stitch. Cause obviously each petal is gonna go in its own direction. Then starting with this color, I have separated my thread into strands and joined them together, and I'm stitching with three strands. So if you don't know what I mean by separating strands, then check out the other video where I explain that, and then I'm gonna begin stitching this one, and I'm gonna begin in the middle of the shape. And just make sure that the strands of thread are, um, laying beside each other and they're not tangled and twisted. And then I will come up right beside that. And again, smooth out the uh, threads. And I'm coming up in the bottom of the shape and stitching to the outside. So all the stitches are going in the same direction. And this one you can see is a little bit twisted. So I can just loosen that, smooth them out. And you can see how much better that is. So just smooth the threads before you stitch it in. And then once we've gone one side all the way out, we're gonna go back to the middle and stitch the other side. And if there's any places, like right here, it looks like um, it could use another stitch. So you can go back and put in more stitches if there's any gaps that you don't like. So I'm just gonna slide my thread through those stitches. And I am gonna put one more in here. And then I will move on to stitch the rest of this petal. Uh, when you get to the end of the thread, you can just weave it underneath to hold the end securely. So you can see in this petal, all the stitching lines are parallel right across the whole thing. And it doesn't take into account the shape of the petal. So that is one option. 
on this other petal, I'm going to show you a different option where the center will be straight, but then coming over to this side will be curved in that direction, and this side will be curved in that direction. So I'm going to be slanting my stitches slightly as I go instead of doing them all parallel. So just like the other one, I will start right in the middle and make sure to smooth out all the threads. But then I know that the at the base, it's going to be much closer together. So I'll have to be thinking about that as I'm stitching. If I was doing a larger shape, I probably would have wanted to have a couple of reference lines along the shape just to help get the angles right. And so you can see all of the stitches come right to the bottom as opposed to this one where some of the stitches are shorter. So now I'll go over and I'll stitch the other half of the petal. So because these stitches are further apart at the edge, you might want to go back and put in a couple more stitches just at places where there's any gaps. But you can see the difference between this petal where the stitches are not all exactly parallel and this one where they're parallel. So both of those are good options. It's not that one is right and one is wrong, but you can pick which you want for the shape that you're stitching. So now I'm gonna go ahead and stitch the rest of these petals. So all the petals have been stitched now and I stitch an alternating between this darker pink and the lighter pink. And I decided to do the rest of the petals all in parallel stitches, straight parallel stitches. So you can see that the one is a little bit different because this is the one where I changed the angle. The rest are all parallel. And now I'm gonna stitch the middle of that flower also with satin stitch. Now you could, if you preferred, instead of uh, doing each petal with the stitches at the angle of the petal, you could do the whole thing with parallel stitches. So all the stitches were in one direction, but I like this, it helps to define the little sections. So now I'm going to stitch the middle of the flower and then we'll be done. So the center of the flower was stitched in just the same way with satin stitches started in the middle and worked out to either side. So there we go. Each of the little sections of the flower have been stitched with satin stitch. So that's how easy it is to stitch a motif with satin stitch. You just look at each little section and stitch that in the direction of stitches that you want. For more embroidery patterns and tutorials, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.